Hello, in this video, I was asked to do some designs like this. I'll show you. To do this work, this kind of um, boot, I think it's uh, a headboard for the, the bed or something to put on the wall. This also someone sent me and uh, okay, I start. Uh, my solution is to use Furin 360 to do this work. Um, first we create a sketch and uh, choose the floor and uh, we use create rectangle center rectangle give it a size make it um, 100 and 100 or maybe bigger 200 and 200 okay and now we create arc from here to here and uh, something like this I think and I draw another arc. This one is shorter. Okay. And uh, ESC and uh, shift and uh, wheel button to orbit and uh, we press the uh, 3D sketch. Check on it. Select this higher arc and uh, press M for move and copy. You choose this and uh, rotate. Create copy. Select axis of this line. Drag it, make it 60. I think it's OK. I can delete this and uh, we use create circular pattern this and this choose the center of the center and uh, make it 4 OK finish. So we got something like this. Now we edit the surface and the patch. Select the high arc. OK. Let me turn the sketch on. We create this one. Okay. <clears throat> and select this and uh, pattern, circular pattern. this axis to be at the Z axis make it 4 OK patch select this wall OK select all this stitch OK, so I got this body. Hide the sketch and uh, it's something like this.
Now we right click and uh, save as STL. Okay. And then in AdCam, we create a new model. Mm, something like this, okay. So, relief imports, import 3D model. And we choose this. I will put it at uh, 100, 100, apply. Okay, and uh, paste. Now I drag the relief. into the library okay this one we've set the relief current relief to zero we drag it inside it okay and now we can set the position 100 100 so we use the rotate 45 degree like this okay make the center to be at Give it something like this, and uh, paste. We drag it in again. Rotate forty-five degree. Put it. At center, okay, something like this. Also, use it to make it four and eight. Paste. Okay, we draw a rectangle. Right click and uh, transform. Okay, and then we use the uh, zero outside vector.
So we got something like this. And now we put it to the library again. <clears throat> so now we um, mix the relief to zero and uh, we draw a rectangle same to the workpiece create center of this page okay so let me drag this in make it coincide the inner rectangle and the paste okay then we create another layer select this the shape editor we make a subtract that height at 60 start height at 16 millimeter so we get something like this if we make it 100, you can see it's uh, too shallow. So we make it smaller at 60. I think it's okay. Apply. Okay. Here's something like this we make this again. Okay. And we can merge visible vectors. And they change the height. To something like this. Apply. So. Okay. And now we get something like this. And we can use the two path. Three D two pass and that's a selected vector finish tools we use a bit too is okay I think we use a borders six millimeter material make it 40 okay calculate now Okay. Two path and uh, mm, along. I use this two. Depths will be. Five also, maybe six. Calculate. Okay, let's see the result. Okay, this seems perfect. And this.
So we got something like this. Let's change a uh, good looking. Okay. This is what we get at last. Okay, thank you for watching. You know, usually I just uh, got some message from internet, some friends from different countries ask me to do some tutorial about AutoCAM or some other software. So I just try my best to uh, meet your requirement. But you know, sometimes, you know, there's a uh, um, say in China, like this, the real masters are always in the crowd. So, my friends, my audience, if you have better ideas how to do things more cooler, please share. Okay? Um, wish you all good luck, good health. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.